Okay guys, we are playing some Kassadin in the mid lane. The runes I took are Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind, Tenacity, Coup de Grasse, and Taste of Blood, and Revenous Hunter. The reason we take these healing runes is for scaling. Kassadin is a scaling champ. The longer the game goes, the stronger he gets. He's like an AP Master Yi of the mid lane. We're against Diana. I think it's a decent matchup for us. I can't kill her early, but she definitely... And not kill me. Because Kassadin's passive is he takes 15% reduced magic damage. I could trade with her here because if she hits me, I have a taste of blood. So next time I cure her. Also, the, the fleet footwork heals me every time I hit a minion. Gives me some move speed too. But she can push me in. I got my W now, so it helps me last hit. Let's see. Nice. I should get all these. Okay, I got some of them. Okay, there she is. But yeah, we have really good sustain, so I don't even have to start like corrupting potion. We can just go Doran's. Because I have so much healing in my runes. But yeah, we're going to max our E, actually, because it's the best for wave clear. We don't really need to Q poke her, because it's Diana. She could shield it. We're mainly just Q poking her for the taste of blood to heal. I think that gave us, like, 20 health or so. And then Fleet Footwork heals us even more. Another 20 health. Like, I don't even have to use my potions. But if I hit her with that W, it gives me a lot of mana back. What is it? 20% mana. I think it's missing mana. Yeah. Ooh, Olaf's here. We could maybe kill her. The problem is I'm casting. I don't really have anything to slow her down if she runs. I mean, if he hits the... Oh. Oh, we don't win this, sadly. I could maybe flash for her, but it's... Yeah, there's another person here. If my E comes back up... Use your shield. She's baiting me. She's just gonna press W and she won't die. I do have Ignite, though, so maybe I could kill her. Uh, Diana got blue buff. That's not good. But if she if she somehow uses her shield, then I could kill her. But I could just freeze this. She's losing a big wave. I'm going to try and stop her base again. Nice. She's regenning health. She just got taste of blood. I can't flash on her. She has to be way lower, because her shield's pretty big. Oh, wait, no. Her shield's pretty small, actually. Awesome! We got the blue buff. Yeah, I thought her shield was a lot bigger, but I think they nerfed that. I'm not sure. They nerfed something about Diana. Okay, well, that's really good. We got the blue buff. We're going to have that when we hit level 6. And she... She has no flash now. I thought she flashed on the... Olaf, but I think she just ignited him. Okay, we got 1,500 gold. I could build a tier, but I think I'm going to get a Rod of Ages first before I get the tier. We're scaling for late game this game, so let's get Catalyst and Boots. We'll get tier after we finish the Rod of Ages. Because finishing the uh, Rod of Ages as fast as possible is the best uh, option because the item just scales over time. So the faster you finish it, faster it scales.
Did I tell by watching Summit's gameplay if they're using scripts? Oh yeah. It depends. There's multiple kinds of scripts they can use. There's scripts that show um, enemies, summoner spell timers, ability timers, everything. Hey, I gotta walk away, I think. If he's running at me, that means Diana's coming too. Um, there's scripts that like use the abilities and dodge and kite. And that's the easiest way to tell. Because people like stutter stuff and they'll dodge every ability. But it's a... Uh, it's, scripting is nothing to worry about anymore. Riot has pretty much eliminated it. If you see someone scripting their account, usually gets banned within two hours after they do it. So they're just using like throwaway accounts. But like they're never going to ruin high elo. Besides one like one game, but that's like nothing. Riot's done such a good job at getting rid of scripters. That's why I love League. Like compared to shooting games, which are full of hackers, League has like none. I don't have anything up. I think I could kill this guy. I don't know if his his W is up. Otherwise, I'd go in. But yeah, I can I can safely say like my Zareth is a hundred times better than people scripting, just because um. I don't know, there's there's things I can do that scripts can't. I mean sure, like they could uh they could use like evade and stuff and like dodge everything, but still. Even scripts don't land every ability is something people don't understand. Like just because they're scripting doesn't mean they're gonna hit every single ability. Yeah, we get we get downtime to talk about stuff when we play late game scaling champs because we're just casting. We're just trying to survive to level 16. Rod of Ages, how much do I need? 200. We'll stay 200 for that. Oh, this guy loves giving me blue buffs, and I love him. I don't know where she went. I feel like my mana has never dropped from full, though. But once you start rift walking and using your R, your mana drains. Because look, it, it's at 800 mana right now to use it again. I have to wait a while. But it does a lot more damage if I were to use it now. Let's hit her. Actually, I don't want to hit her. I don't have anything to jump away. That spot. Diana's going uh, Proto Belt first. Usually they go Nashers. This makes her a little tankier. But she might go Proto Belt into Nashers. I'm kind of scared to jump in on her because I feel like I still don't beat her. Maybe once I go by this Rod of Ages, I should probably base. I'm just not using my ult to get away because I want to bait her ult. Okay, yeah, she definitely is stronger than me. I'm gonna let her push this next wave in. I'll clear it, and then I'll base. If she wants to die with me, she'll probably die. But she has Ignite, so she could definitely kill me with her combo. Oh, 
Pogma's in trouble. Diana's coming bot. I'll ping them. He might die to the Twitch poison. No, he's fine. Might die to Diana, though. Oh, we have enough for tier. Cool. We got tier. Let's stack this up while we're chilling. Does activating my W do anything? It does. Why didn't my alt do anything? I guess I did it too early. We use the bug where you charge up the R at fountain. No, it was, it was the Q. They charged the Q right here, and it hit everyone on the map. But you literally had to use, like, an exploit to do that, like a program. There was a there was a worse one. There was one where if you built Blade of the Ruined King and used this program, it would just instantly one-shot anyone you walked by. It was terrible, but they fixed it within a day. And then so many people started trying it out because, like, they were getting destroyed by it and they all got banned. It was pretty funny. I can go in here. Shit, I didn't know he was ulting here. Hello, set. I could just go over a wall if I wanted, so... Sriracha ult. She's kind of tanky with that proto bolt. Can't really kill her. But I mean, once we hit 11, we get a pretty big power spike. But level 16 is just a gigantic power spike for Kassen. He can 1v9 at level 16. I don't really hurt her. But if I can jump in again and hit her with alt, maybe just maybe we can kill her. This guy loves me, though. Get away from me, Set. It's really hard to gank a Kassin, because I have... I have a bunch of dashes. Run! I'm just wasting her time by stopping her base. She has good farm, though. I'm not gonna stop that. Nash is good item for early cast. Nah. If you want early damage on him, you go Lich Bane. But I'm trying to scale. We can get the Lich Bane later. Twitch is on a rampage. Oh, Twitch is not on a rampage. Let's go buy. I could get boots here. I don't really need them though. Let's just go books. Let's try and finish this Seraphs ASAP. I'll keep using my W when I'm walking to lane. Just because it actually gives a couple stacks on the tier. Alright, let's try and clear all these at once. She's top side. I mean, I'm level 11. What the fuck? Didn't she just get ulted by Soraka? I missed, but I got the minions. Set is bot. Okay, we definitely beat her now. We're way stronger. The level 11 power spike is what we needed. It's too strong. I'm gonna let this reset. I don't wanna use 800 mana to jump on her again. Hmm. I get roam. I mean. I want the cannon though. I could kill Twitch, but he, he's gone. Never mind. I needed to go earlier. Darn, I didn't hit the E. I knew this guy's coming. He's still chasing me, though. We're on Herald. We could beat his ass. 
I'm not rift walking. It's gonna use too much mana. Where's my team? What the fuck? I see. I just jump in. That's so good for us, though. Like, two kills on me is really good. I mean, if Twitch watch, walks in this bush, I could try and one-shot him. Not that dude, though. Oh, that's so big. Cassidy is scaling, boys. I think I beat this guy. I could be extremely wrong, though. Holy fuck, he melted me. <laughs> okay, I didn't go back over the wall with my flash. Okay, Orn. I take that back. Orn is busted. He, like, shredded me there. His auto attacks were doing, like, 500 damage. Alright, whatever. I'm happy I got a bunch of kills, but I shouldn't have fought that Orn. Let's get Sorks. I'm pretty big now. Orn's level 12. I don't know. I don't know why he does so much damage. Like, he's a tank. Why does he do more damage than me? I even dodged his ult. Well, we're stacking this up. Once this stacks up, I get a ton of AP. I think I'm going to go Lich Bane next. It's a good burst. At least Kog'Maw melts Orn. Blade of the Rune King. He has no flash because he uh he used it to kill me. Oh, Sriracha's over here. Come here, Sriracha. Here, nice free kill for me. I think he has W. Oh, we're huge. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Twitch melted me. I thought I'd be able to one shot him there, but I fucked up. Jeez. Oh, he has 11 kills. Okay, no wonder I got deleted. Whatever. I'm getting kills, though. It's a, This is like giving kills to Mastery. It's not good for them. But I can't I can't be the only one that's fed. My team is decently fed, though, so that's good. I just need Frontline, because I want to be able to go in. Ooh, I could get this, too. Hourglass wouldn't be that bad against their team. Let's go Hourglass. Fuck it. The, sh the Lich Bane can wait. I need to survive. Um, I need to go in and clean up after they go in. Like, I need them to burn their abilities, or just at least get them to, like, half health or around there, and then I just one-shot everyone. Want a Ziggs video? I could maybe play Ziggs next. For the, the second channel. Such a short range ability. Where are they? Are they? They're on dragon, I think. Oh, never mind. I don't want to fight this. They're all there. Got her. We got dragon. That's fine. As long as my team doesn't die, we probably don't want to fight this. I need to heal up a little bit more. We can go for mid turret. But CDR is really nice on Kassadin because once you start alting a bunch, like your alt actually does a ton of damage. And it gets really low cooldown at level uh, 16. So you're just jumping on people over and over and over. They can't get away from you. I want to go for those fruits. I think mid's gone, though. He's done Twitch. I just need to not get silenced by Sriracha. Oh, we got him. I must have did good damage to him. really good for us. Where do I go with this? Probably... Yeah, we're definitely gonna go Hourglass because then I'm able to just jump in their team and bait all their abilities and then just Hourglass. What else can I take in their jungle? 
Oh, you don't like me taking this, huh, buddy? Uh, Twitch could be trailing behind them, so I'm not gonna fight that. How much do I need for Hourglass? I think it's 2,100, 2,000. That's close. Oh, fuck, it's Twitch! Zerat stunned him. Yeah, I ain't trying to... I ain't trying to fight that. Which is back there. I don't know what he's doing. He's walking at me. I kind of want to buy. I have Hourglass. They'll stop me from getting one shot by Twitch. They definitely, they have a flank somewhere, I think. Or not. Here's their flank. I don't know where Set is, but I'm pretty sure Twitch ulted there. I hope so. I thought I saw him ult. Vlad a single time. I don't really like Vlad. He's kind of boring. The only way you can really make plays on him is when your flash is up. I mean, he's a really good champion. He's strong, but I just don't really like him. He's so short range. This is almost stacked up. I gotta keep trying to stack this. My blue's up. Two levels off level 16 power spike. Cassidy in videos are hard to get to because, like, he just, he takes forever to scale, and then it's hard for, to make a game last that long, or get a game that lasts that long. They should back up. I'm splitting right now. They will definitely lose the fight, and we'll lose Baron. I don't have teleports, so they just need to back up. I think they're getting engaged on us, so I'm going to go try and clean up. I mean... If only one person dies here, that's not too bad. Okay, two. We could definitely get Baron. They're not going for Baron, though. Olaf made it out somehow. I should have just kept splitting, but I don't think I'm going to save this turret. Okay, yeah, I am. What is this clown doing? I have Seraph still. Let's go. This is a quad. Easy. Look at how tanky this motherfucker is. Ooh, I drew kill. Where's Diana? Give me that. Oh, she's top. We can still get a Pentu. We got like 15 seconds to get up there. I'm gonna run out of mana though. Nah, we won't get the Penta. No way. Eh, unofficial. But I'm I'm like Master Yi at this point. Like once I get rolling in a team fight, it's over. Once Twitch dies, they have nothing else to really kill me. This rock is up here. Hopefully Twitch isn't with her. Eh, I'm actually not gonna go for this. Oh, their blue's up. Pretty risky. They're all on their way. They want to save Soraka. Oh, Twitch is actually bought. Yeah, Dragon would be pretty good for us. We don't want to give Orin that. But I gotta go buy. Honestly, I don't even need the Lich Bane. I have 40% CDR. I just want a Death Cap. Like, I'll literally... This will do so much more damage than a, a Lich Bane. I think Twitch is on Dragon. I can maybe make it there. I'm so close to 16 though, if I just kill Camp. Okay, level 16. Here's our giant power spike. We have like Earth ult now. And if we get kills in uh, team fights, presence in mind, we'll just keep our mana up. I think I just saw someone bot. 
Pretty sure I could like 1v2 at this point. I don't know. We're about to test limit tests. I'll stack up my alt. Fuck it. All right, if I hit Twitch with this, come here, buddy. Look at, look at, I'm just jumping. Look at that. It's deleted. Holy shit. And my mana's full till. 800 it uses, and it, it didn't even like drop down. I was just spamming it. <laughs> Level 16 Kassen's disgusting. Oh, they're on Baron. But wait, I have to clear pink. They do that Baron kind of slow. They don't have Twitch. It's going to take them forever. Oh, fuck. I still use 800. I didn't wait for it to go down. Yeah, look at that. It's still full. No way. You guys are not getting Baron. You're all dead. Smart move of you guys to run away. If Olaf goes in here, I got his back. Oh, my hourglass wouldn't go off. Seraphs? Wait, where am I? I don't know where I... Oh, shit. We didn't win that. As hard as I thought. Eh. Retreat. Oh, we didn't have Zareth. But he's splitting. You might want to run, though. Twitch is going to kill your ass. Ooh, death cap. Called it. Alright, I think maybe Void Staff next. They're getting MR. I don't really need a Lich Bane. It's not like my damage is coming from the auto attack anymore. Twitch is bot. We could kill this fool. I'm ignite him just so he dies quicker. My rift walk does a thousand damage. That's so much. I'm not on a ward, but I mean, I have the mobility to get away. I think they know I'm here. Maybe not. We don't want to fight them under turret, but I mean, Orn is dead. Okay, they definitely knew I was there. Ooh. If Zareth would have ulted there, he would have uh, got Soraka ult. This is a good spot we're in, we just can't get engaged on. Like, the longer they wait to engage on us, the more poke we're gonna get, and the less chance they have of winning the fight. But I think they could win if they get a good engage. But Kog'Maw? We need Kog'Maw to melt that uh, Orn. He's got a lot of MR, three MR items. Stack up the Rift Walk a bit. Maybe I can engage with Rift Walk. Let's go, that engage. Jeez, dude, Kassin is actually just auto win if you make it to 16. I haven't played him in so long, but this is actually so strong. He does so much damage, and I didn't know the jump was one second. Because I have 40% CDR insane they have to kill me right away or else i just melt the whole team or they have to melt my whole team before i even get in the fight but i got a pretty pretty darn good engage there flash in on twitch soraka hit them with a thousand damage rift walk i think i one shot someone too i don't know All right. Oh, we got Void Staff and Blue Potion. We are full build. Okay. We are at max damage now. 900 ability power. We're tanky as fuck. We have unlimited mobility. We're unstoppable.
Okay, this is Penta. 100%. Where did he go? Oh, wait, he died. Dude, this is actually, like... What do you do against this? 20 kill Cassidin. Like, if you can make it to this point as Cassidin, you just win. Oh, Diana, I'm gonna run out of mana doing this, but... Oh, fuck. I don't have enough mana to jump again. Awkward. Her hourglass kind of threw me off. Oh, well, looks like we win. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, GG, guys. If you enjoyed this Cassidy video, please drop a like, comment below if you got any other ideas for me to play for next video. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Go hit that sub button right now. Scroll down below. Click subscribe. And make sure to check out my second channel too. It's down in the description. You can sub to that too. I upload daily videos on there also. And let's check out the damage. I give it to Kog'Maw. Oh, Wait. <laughs> 54k damage. This looks like a Xerath game with the, the damage chart. Let's see, fleet healed us almost 7,000. No wonder they take fleet on him. Presence of mind restored 12,000 mana. Uh, that did an extra 1,300. Taste of blood healed us 1,800. Ravenous healed us 7,000. Look at that. That's so much healing. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Hope you enjoyed this one and have a nice day.